Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cool custom brush in Photoshop. It's uh, really good for sketching and blending in Photoshop. It's uh, it's got like a angle to it, so it's not so apparent that you're using a round, just the regular hard round brush. So when you use that, the way it's naturally set up is so like if you're sketching around, you'll see the circle over and over again, and it just will look really digital. So with this one, you get the nice soft edge with the hard edge, and uh, yeah, the work comes out a lot better. So anyways, I'm going to do a quick sketch for you now, just showing you what it looks like when you're using it, because when you go in from the side or an angle, you get a thinner line, and you know, you can have really good edge control that way. So here's one. Nothing too crazy, just showing you. And uh, later on in the video, I'll show you what the difference between the two. So yeah, I got a few settings turned on this, so it makes for better uh, blending. It's smoother, and the spacing's all the way down, and things like that but I'll show you that in a second. So here is a default brush. Well, sort of default. It's just got the shape dynamics, other dynamics, and smoothing turned on. And as you can see, when I use it, it sort of has just like the ghost shape of the circle. Like you can keep seeing the outline of the circle. So you're going to want to take the spacing all the way down. And what that'll do is it'll blend it all together. And that uses a lot more RAM than the other brush, but it definitely helps. I mean, it's pretty much a must if you're going to be painting in Photoshop. But anyways, you take the angle in brush tip shape. You're going to want to turn it to like 40, 45 degrees around there. So I got it 47 degrees. And then you're going to want to take the roundness down to around 50%. So I got 56 there. And yeah, you can see it's just an oval shape. And uh, yep, again, you take the spacing down to 1%, just all the way down and you're going to want to have other dynamics selected and have both of the control uh, menus set to pen pressure In shape dynamics you're going to want to have the uh, size jitter set to pen pressure the minimum diameter is like 70 percent, 75 percent you don't want to have the angle jitter on because that will make it all wiggly and then you're going to want to turn the roundness jitter on to pen pressure and this is all this all applies to using a tablet when you're painting in Photoshop, which you should be if you're gonna be doing this. It's uh, really hard to get the same results with a mouse. You have to approach it with a whole different technique. So anyways, as you can see, it's uh, a lot different than the circle brush. It's nice and it won't leave so much of a mark, an obvious mark. And you're gonna wanna have smoothing checked too. So yeah, there you go. You want to click that, that little uh, square next to the trash can with the corner flipped up, and you're gonna want to press OK, and that'll save the brush, so you can use it anytime. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, it helped me a lot, helped me with my blending and everything, and uh, it's definitely cool to use. So anyways, I'll show you both brushes. And this one is the new brush we've created. There's a pretty good uh, line variation there and what you can do. And also, you can play with everything else. 
you can use like the uh, texture tab to apply you know, textures you find on the internet like the site I linked to before in my other video it is uh, cgtextures.com they have a bunch you can apply those to your uh, brushes to make it cool and textury and that'll help yeah. and anyways here's a circle brush with only shape dynamics and then with other dynamics it's just a little smoother and then smoothing turned on but it's you know it's it's not very painterly and anyways here's a uh, here's the brush we created and I'll show you blending with that so yep just doing some sweeping motions with it using the colors that are there and as you can see quickly I can just blend and you know you won't see the edges too much and it's just nice and soft and you can get you know you can get the paint and, like skin tones and all sorts of things and playing with the edge control and it's just a nice it's a nice brush with, a, brush with a lot of variation. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything else you'd like to see, just uh, drop me a comment at www.daveraposa.com. I'd really appreciate it, and uh, thanks for watching.